this is one of the reasons that we RV. To get out in nature and enjoy life. One of the things that aggravated me was having to spend 15 or 20 minutes just rearranging all the things that I had carefully put in place, nicely organized, and which were now scattered all over the cabinets of my trailer. So in order to enjoy nature, I came up with an idea. Hi, I'm Tim Homerding, and I invented the covered corral. One of the most important things in our vein, because we're in a small confined area, is utilization of our area to store things, organization of those items, and keeping them in place when we're in motion. The covered corral does this. This is, this is a sample of the material that we use. This is a blank cut out of a 4x8 sheet. You can see it's flexible, but it will not break. Dishwasher safe. It's the same material the cutting boards are made from. Once we cut into that, we cut into blanks like this. Then we round corners. And finally, we add all the slots. This particular cover corral is one that we use under the vanity in our bathroom. And it's fairly simple to put together. Put two pieces together, line them up, flip it over, these pieces pretty much handmade on our process equipment. So all the pieces may not be exact. However, they will serve the function for which they're designed. In our instructions it says to maybe lay your pieces out or your, your cups, canned goods, whatever, out on the counter and build it around it. I happen to know how this one goes, so this is how it turns out when I'm done. Spot for a trash can, we put our chemicals, uh, bug spray, whatever in that, and we have trash bags in here. So it works out real well for what we're doing. So let's take a look at how the cupboard corrals are used. We'll go inside our trailer and look at the various ways that we use it in ours. Welcome to our trailer. This is the one thing that we really enjoy is RVing. The one thing we don't enjoy is every time we show up having to spend 15 minutes rearranging things. Also, I like my drinks out of a glass glass, not a plastic glass. I like my coffee in the morning in a ceramic or a glass cup, not out of plastic. So, if I open this up, I'm going to show you that we carry real glass. Now these glasses made it down 15 miles of a washboard dirt road on Oak Creek Canyon. Our toaster, our coffee pot, things were out of the cabinet. It was a mess inside this trailer. Not one glass moved, not one glass was broken. We, lay, we have glass cups. They lay on their side. The openings are designed so that cups can lay on their side glasses can be face down so you have the heavy part on the bottom. You'll notice that these are a little bit bigger than the opening. That's fine because this is flexible. It holds them in place better. The next major use for the covered corral is in the pantry. As you can see we have quite a variety of sizes, whether height, diameter, all the different spices and everything. We use the short corral here instead of the tall corral that we saw in the glass cabinet. The short corral is designed so that you can actually just pretty much see what you have in here. We know this is green beans, we have the picture, some things you do have to lift up. But what it does is it keeps all those canned goods in place. There have been reports of RVs hitting bumps, slamming on brakes, and actually canned goods going through the sides of their cabinets. I haven't personally seen it, but I have 
had people tell me that this has occurred. This secures everything in place. Not only does it not fall out of the cabinet, which when this all started, it started with this cabinet, and the only thing that was available were the little spring-loaded bars that kept everything in the cabinet. Of course, when you open the cabinet, nothing fell out, but it was a big jumbled mess. If I was going to design something, I wanted it to be totally organized where everything would stay where I put it. It's very important that you keep your anti-slip material under any covered corral. This really aids in the stability and keeps everything in place. One of our newest products is what we call the Wine Corral. The Wine Corral is designed to carry 6, 9, or 12 bottles of wine. Standard size bottles or actually bottles, fifth bottles of regular alcohol. So you can see it's very difficult if you had a box or something else to get a bottle of wine out of a cabinet. So we designed it so you remove the top piece and the bottle of wine simply comes out. To get to the next one, obviously you just remove that and this bottle comes out. It's very simple. It works very well. we'll put it back together. When in movement, if you only have four bottles of wine, put them in the four corners. If you have three bottles of wine, obviously corners in one corner will be left blank. You want to spread the weight out so that you have the most amount of stability. Another advantage of the wine corral is you have a wine rack that comes with you. You can stand on end like I've done here. Of course you want to fill from the bottom up, never from the top down. And now you have a wine rack. Now never move your coach with the wine rack as it is. Because you can see there is some movement. There is a little bit of give to it, but it is stable. And you remember the cupboard corral that we assembled out on the table. You see Julie is now putting everything back where it belongs. Whether it's bug spray, chemicals, Lysol, remember the big cutout I left for the trash can? That's where the trash can goes. Everything fits perfectly. Okay, because of tight quarters, I have to stand behind the camera. These are the medicine cabinet corrals. These are great. How many times have you opened your cabinet? and things end up in the sink. Well with the medicine cabinet corral all those small items that we all carry are securely held in place. You notice the anti-slip here is also under it. Once organized we ended up with pretty much an empty cabinet except for some cotton balls. Julie is demonstrating the one of the uh, original ideas which is the shot glass corral. Not what we call a standard item, but it works beautifully. You notice one shot glass up, one shot glass down. Holds everything in place. We keep it in our glass cabinet with anti-skid, and we've never had a shot glass move. So we just discussed the original idea of making the shot glass corral. Our friends came up with this great idea in her utensil drawer for cooking. They took a an eight tall, left out the two center dividers, and were able to organize their utensil drawer. If you remember in our glass cabinet we have real tall cabinets. Shorter cabinets such as in our friend's rig here are not an issue because we're able to use the short corral instead of the tall corrals hold everything in place yet be able to remove them without an issue the medicine cabinet in our trailer is a little bit deeper but for the shallower ones the medicine cabinet corrals were designed to go in a shallower area however it does the same thing 
gives you plenty of room on the sides if you use a 15 inch or 11 inch depending upon the width of your cabinet gives you plenty of room to put the larger bottles yet holds everything in place and even before the medicine cabinet corrals with the bungees things still had a tendency to jump out at you once in a while to sum things up we saw a need we wanted to go from tossed to tidy in our cabinets out of frustration of having to rearrange everything every time we arrived at a campsite the covered corral was born. We're a 100% U.S. made product. We manufacture in Las Vegas. We buy only U.S. plastic. It's a one-time purchase. You buy a new rig, you take your covered corrals with you. We just want to say thank you and we appreciate your business. We hope you will enjoy arriving at your campsite the first time with covered corrals and find everything exactly where you put it when you left the house.